Resorts are finally starting to open across North America, and if you're anything like me, you're just getting your gear out and ready for the winter. Now, for those shopping or thinking about doing some gear upgrades, I thought it might be helpful if I shared what product I plan to wear for winter 24. Now, I'm not gonna have time to do like a thorough breakdown of each product, but I'll be able to do a pretty good job of giving you some insights and some basic information into each one. I'll also have the affiliate links down below, so if there is a product that you wanna learn more about, there's a link there that's gonna take you directly to the website and you can do so. I think that's all the housekeeping I need to do, so let's get in some gear. All right, let's kick it off with the Photon Boa Step-On Boot. Now this is my go-to step-on boot. It is one of the stiffer, if not the stiffest model boot in the step-on line. And I really enjoy that. I like having additional support, especially when it comes to step-on. I, I like how stiff and, uh, and reactionary it is. You know, it's very quick toe to heel, like all step-on, but I just, I feel very supported in this boot. So I really enjoy it. Something that a lot of people don't know is that this boot has the H4 coiler boa dial, which has a breakaway design. So let's hypothetically say you bang this dial on some stairs or your truck or vehicle or something. This is actually designed to break away for an easy repair. So what you would do is you just grab the laces from the outside, you pull it tight so the boa comes back up to where it's supposed to be. You lock it down and you go counterclockwise until it clicks and then you start reeling in the lacing system. And just like that, when you thought your day was over, you're backboarding. All good. Since we are talking step-on boots, I may as well jump over to step-on bindings. This is the step-on Genesis. Now, to be completely honest, I don't notice a ton of difference in between the step-on bindings. I have always loved the hammock that's on the regular Genesis. So as soon as they offered this, I just jumped on it because this high back is awesome to me. Um, the power of step-on really comes from the locking systems to me. So like everything else, it has the toe hooks, the heel clip, as well as your release lever, but the high back is gonna be your main difference. Go to step on, Genesis. The Ion Boa. This is hands down my absolute favorite boot. I have been running this boot for probably eight years now. Um, it is straight out of the box good. It's a mid to fairly stiff boot. Definitely not on the high stiffness like like I said, like it's out of the box good. Usually you get it, you're comfortable, and you can go ride. There's no break in time. There's nothing that you have to deal with. Just like I mentioned with the Photon Step-On boot, the Ion also has the H4 coiler dial from BOA. The only difference is because this is dual lacing, you have an H4 coiler on the top for your uppers, and you also have an H4 on the side. So both of these have the breakaway design. The other thing that's cool about this is that the H4 coiler you actually pull it out. Let's say you're unstrapping, you pull it all the way, a little pro tip, lock it when it's out like this. As you come back to get in, and you just pull it snap and it's gonna coil itself in. And there we go. Just a great boot, heat moldable liner. I can't speak highly enough of this. It is the boot that I highly recommend anyone that's boot chomping. This is probably the go-to. So, Ion Boa. That's my ride. The Cartel X strapped. This is my go-to strap traditional binding. Uh, similar to the Ion, I would say the Cartel X is probably, either Cartel X or Cartel, it's probably the most ridden binding as far as team goes. We have smooth glide buckles. We have the super grip cap strap. Uh, the high back is where you notice the big difference in between the Cartel and the Cartel X. This is gonna be a stiffer high back than the cartel, so just know that going in. Um, it does go to zero, which is great, but you also have the options for forward lean if you want it. Um, and EST, I'm a strict EST person. I mean, unless I'm on step on, then I'm on reflex, but EST is just like infinite stance options. I can, like with the channel, I can just find exactly where I wanna be on the board and stick with that. So Cartel X, this is my go-to. I usually float between Cartel or Cartel X, but uh, this is my go-to for right now.
Now we are talking boards. And you know what, this is, uh, this is gonna be an easy one. This is the Grillmaster. And I'm gonna link a video up here. What side is it on? Maybe here. I'm gonna be on this for most of the year. Uh, this is uh, 165 that I'll ride in the backcountry for resort. I'm, uh, I'm gonna try to order a 160 so I get down a little bit. Um, it is a fairly big board, it's a pretty wide board. Uh, it's 270 millimeters for the 165 as a weight to waist width and 264 millimeters for the 160. So I'm gonna downsize to a 160 probably for just resort cruising. Um, but yeah, it's a directional camber. It's a great all around snowboard, whether you're doing freestyle or just carves, this is gonna be my, uh, my board of choice for the winter. So you'll see me on that. Um, I should say one disclaimer, I'm gonna bring out this board right here. So this is my territory manager. Um, I had it last year. I'm gonna ride this for the first little bit. We don't have a ton of snow here in Whistler right now, so this is kind of my rock board. I don't really wanna damage the other boards. So this is a 160 Territory Manager, so I'll be spending the beginning on this just in case there's some rocks out there, but then I'll be on the Grillmaster for whenever you know things get good. You know, I haven't even had a chance to talk soft goods since I started this channel, so today's the day. This is the AK Swash Jacket. It is a 2L Gore kit, uh, and it comes in the kelp colorway right here. So this is kelp. Uh, one of my favorite things about this is we have the core focused insulation. So basically, there's small amounts of insulation only where you need it. It's only in areas that want to protect warmth. Uh, in other areas, there is no insulation, so you're not bulked up, like not like a massive down jacket everywhere. So I really enjoy that, especially for days when is kind of becoming a bit more spring and the weather's fluctuating. Uh, we also have YKK water resistant zippers. Uh, we have the drop construction hood, which is sick because basically you can keep high collar hoods out of the way or you can run it all in one. Um, overall, love this kit, stoked to be wearing it. This is the AK Swash jacket. All right, this is basically as top of the line as I'm gonna get. We have the AK Freebird 3L Gore-Tex bib pant. Um, this thing is just so well designed. It's so well built. Adjustable suspenders, insane venting, test to cool. We have the outside vent pocket that's also an access point. It is a shell, so if you wear thicker layering underneath, let's say something with pockets, you do have access in here, or you just straight up open those and they're just, Easy, easy venting. Um, for the men, we have some quick up and down or all the way if you need to uh, access for bathroom breaks. But uh, yeah, I don't really feel like I have to say that much. These just speak for themselves. Go check out the AK Freebird 3L Gore-Tex bib pant. The one thing I'll say that's noted just for me is that I size up. I'm in a big pant kind of stage right now. So I am running double XLs. My jacket is an XL, this is a double XL. So that's the only thing I would say that's a little bit more of an insight for me personally. All right, let's talk some goggles now. Um, I ride for Anon Optics, so these are my goggles of choice. This is the M4 model. Fully magnetic, super easy to change over. Perceived lens tech, so these lenses basically, they're like a high contrast lens, so they really enhance your view. Um, they're fairly large, so it's a really good field of view. A personal note that I'll say, these, these come in Toric, which is like the bubble lens, or cylindrical, which are these ones, which I just call flat. I personally enjoy the cylindrical ones more. You'll always see me, or most likely see me, in cylindrical lenses. Um, love these things. They are also, Anon has some insane MFI, so this is called MFI Magnetic Face Integration or something like that. Um, the magnet adjustment is so, so good. Like, you just run this around your neck, throw it up, you're good, pull it down, you're free. So I, I highly recommend this just for the face mask uh, interaction. So great work, work and on. I also wear a second pair of Anons. Uh, these are called the Sinks. 
they have a M fusion, I think is what they call for the magnetic attachment. So there is a latch on the side here. Crack it open, magnetic pops out. They go back in, latch closes, and now they're secure. I wear these in the backcountry a lot more often, the sink. Um, basically, because it has a latch system, the lenses are actually really small and light. So it's very easy to pack multiple of these into my bags without adding too much weight. So a lot of the time I'll be running sinks in the backcountry. They also have the same perceived lens with that high contrast. Um, they are MFI compatible as well. So same thing for your uh, face mask. It is such a perk. All right, the Anon Oslo helmet. Honestly, I can't speak highly enough about this. Um, obviously, this is monster branded. I had to paint or paint this. You can't buy this colorway. But um, the wave cell technology that's inside this helmet is just incredible. I highly recommend you check out down in the description the link to check out wave cell. It is so incredible whether you're snowboarding or mountain biking or whatever you're doing. It really is kind of like a new age safety protection. So um, highly recommend checking that out. Uh, also, this helmet does have the uh, BOA dial for the perfect fit in the back. You got your ear flaps. I usually take those off. Um, but yeah, Oslo helmet, check it out. Good stuff. Can't get my colorway, sorry. So that is a wrap on the winter 24 gear guide of what I'm going to be wearing. Um, I think you can kind of understand why I couldn't go super in depth in each product because it would have been like a 30 minute video. Um, but I, I guess as a reminder and something to be transparent about is I am a professional snowboarder. I am a Burton team rider. So that's why you always see me in head to toe Burton and why that entire list was Burton. Um, I just wanted to remind you about that. So I'm being completely clear with you. Uh, also, if you have any questions about a certain product, leave me a comment and, uh, and I'll do my best to answer it. Thanks.